It is the 16th of the 5th, 2013. And this is your last radioactive reality for a few months. I'm going to go hike on the Appalachian Trail. I'm leaving in a couple of days. I should be on trail on Monday. Got lots to do and uh, hardly any time left to do it. Thank you for everybody who's contributed and uh, donated to help out towards my trip. I really couldn't have done it without you. Um, I am going to shut down my PayPal Friday night, so if you still want to kick in a couple of bucks for a cheeseburger and some coffee, that would be great. I am close to goal, um, but I am able to go. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody who's helped out. Uh, let's go ahead and get to the headline news. The any news? Arnie Gunderson, breaking news. Officials say U.S. nuclear plant operator, quote, was going to do an experiment on the people of Southern California. Quote, that's their words. They said it was an experiment, unquote. And they're talking about the San Onfre nuclear power plant. Uh, they want to fire up one of the reactors at 70%. You've got to remember all these tubes are bad, and they've been rattling themselves apart. Um, and they, quote, wanted to do an experiment. But unable to do the experiment, they've got to get public approval through a meeting or whatnot. So if you're in the Southern California area and uh, close to San Onfre nuclear power plant, I would go voice my concerns. Top talk show. Ever seen those Geiger counter videos from Japan? Question mark. Fascinating stuff. Quote, really dangerous levels and all these people are living there. And the sad reality is um, they can't really hide what's going on. New flyover of giant sinkhole. Now this is Louisiana Bayou Corn. Largest breach measured 75 feet wide. Water could drain into the hole and there are more dead trees around the sinkhole. Of course, this is the deepest one ever in history, and it's going to take a long time for that thing to settle out. A uh, leak of radioactive material at U.S. nuclear plant, amount unknown, but greater than 100 gallons, leaking from the reactor itself, question mark. Uh, more than 100 gallons of water with traces of, traces of tritium, a radioactive isotope of hydrogen, has been leaked from a discharge pipe at the Catawamba Nuclear Station, now this is out of South Carolina, uh, it has the potential to reach groundwater, groundwater according to the NRC. I wonder if there's more than just tritium in that water. Oh, sorry, mystery black substance detected in Japan with extreme radioactivity levels, over 170,000 counts per minute. Uh, this mysterious black substance has been popping up all over Japan. Uh, I've heard reports where they think it's a bacteria kind of substance um, that's collecting the radioactive isotopes, making it severely radioactive. U.S. nuclear plant vulnerable to Tim Timothy McVeigh type of attack? Question mark. Expert, what if it was a bomb instead of a goldfish? You remember that goldfish they found not too long ago? The insanity continues. Well, let's just pump up security and take everybody's freedoms away. I'll feel safer. Nuclear material continuing to come from reactor area at Fukushima Daiichi. First researchers to test within five kilometers of the plant. It's been over two years. First researchers to test within five kilometers of the plant. Death blow, question mark. Complete rejection of plant restarting alien California nuclear reactor without a public hearing. Plant coordinate, uh, corroding as the site sits idle. Of course, it's right there by the ocean. All that salt water has got to do lovely things to the equipment. What a great place to build a nuclear reactor. And again, this is San Ofre, the one they want to uh, experiment on you. Absurd. Intentionally dumping Fukushima nuclear material into ocean from land, quote, is not considered dumping. Allowed under international law, question mark. Now, all of these countries have signed treaties saying they will not dump nuclear waste directly into the oceans as AK put it on a ship, sail it out, and throw it overboard. Um, but apparently anything that's dumped from land and, and flows into the ocean isn't considered dumping. So there's this technical lawyerese loophole BS going on. And uh, <coughs> of course, the insanity continues. Nuclear waste wildcard at burning St. Louis area landfill Quote, we're looking for trends in that radiation data, unquote. Contamination migrating closer to area on fire, question mark. Very, very concerning just north of St. Louis. Crack in U.S. nuclear plant caused radioactive leak. Workers searching for more breaches. 
congressman, quote, very concerned the reactor was shut down until further notice by that congressman. Um, this is the Palisade nuclear power plant where they had the leak in the big tank and they actually built a, um, a, a, a flood berm around the control room in case the tank completely gives out kind of thing. Uh, the congressman go ahead and shut it down until it's fixed, period. Uh, thank you. Good to go there. Uh, slow sinking contributed to breaches and containment at giant sinkhole. Of course, we all know this. It's going to settle for years and years to come. Nuclear power has taken a beating, engulfed by a cauldron of events, staggering change from just a few years ago. Not many had forecast it would all go wrong at once. <laughs> what they expect. And over to Daily News, Fukushima Diary. They've got a couple of stories I want to cover. No butterflies, no bees this year in Nikko City, uh, Tochigi. Uh... Fukushima citizen, quote, we didn't see bugs this summer. Children are made to carry a portable shrine in black rain. And um, we hardly saw mosquitoes, moth, moths, scarab beetles, and a big line of insects um, just aren't happening in and around this nuclear accident or whatever. Radiation level in leaked detector hole water in reservoir number three jumped up five times as much Reactor, num reactor number one reaching 49 degrees Celsius, increased by 3 degrees Celsius within 24 hours. Reactor number two, air pressure of suppression chamber was lower than dry well, and they can't purge the hydrogen gas. More problems at Fukushima. And a uh, former Fukushima worker quotes, skilled workers would go to foreign plants to cause the shortage of Fukushima workers. And what he's going on about is they're having such a hard time uh, finding workers for Fukushima now that the Japanese government shouldn't be exporting nuclear power plants um, and then sending the technicians out to operate and help, you know, train those power plant operators kind of thing that would take away from Fukushima. And a special advisor to the Japan cabinet visited North Korea. Its purpose is concealed. And again, they're selling nuclear reactors. We want to sell one to the North Koreans? Way to go, Japan. Finally, over to EXSKF. Groundwater pumped and released from Fukushima 1 nuclear plant. Fukushima fishermen want safety assurances from the government. And the government is set to give those assurances. So the fishermen are bowing down, saying as long as we have assurances from the government, we'll go ahead and let you release this water into the plant. The government says we don't have any choice. It's okay. Good to go. Enjoy your seafood. Again, that's about all I have for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Leave your comments or uh, attach your videos be below. I will be gone for a while as far as radioactive reality is concerned. Um, I'm going to do a video vlog series called Magic on the Trail. Uh, as I go through the Appalachian Mountains, I'm going to be recording on my iPhone, so expect short videos, you know, less than a minute, around a minute and a half kind of thing. I'm trying not to bug you too much. Uh, just kind of show you some of the cool things I see along the way. Um, bear with me, and uh, thanks a lot. Enjoy what you can. I sure am. I'm excited and ready to go. Again, thank you for everybody who's helped out. We'll see you later.